everyone's still trying to figure out how this pachyderm topped in Rosemont. What is up students, it's Devlin Cassidy, aka The Scholar, and today we're going to be going over kind of one of the most surprised decks to top so far this Spring Fest season. This is Locks Premium, something I wasn't ever really planning on doing, but I definitely, now that it's topped and some questions have been raised, there has been a lot of, uh, you know, kind of like questions on, you know, how does this top, how does this whole deck work? And I'm here to break that down for you all. But before we get into today's video, please go and check out my sponsors, Kingslayer Cards, and use the promo code SCHOLAR and save 5% off of your order. They do everything here. They will get you treated right. They're going to do so many more, like, pre-orders and stuff. They have everything up till DBT 11 right now, to my knowledge. So go get your pre-orders, snag your new cards so you can get along playing along with me. But let's start this deck profile. So of course, you know, we play the, the V starter. There's no real reason. I mean, I've been over this to not play V starters. So just please play the V starter. I, in my list, am playing four copies of locks, of course. So this grade three here, is uh, really the, the pivotal point of the deck. It's something really different than what Great Nature typically does. So its first skill is you're able to put a card from your hand into soul and you look at the top three cards of your deck and you will, you will reveal them and you'll put all the grade three cards into your hand and you'll end up discarding the rest. If you put a grade three from your hand into soul for the cost of this card, all of your grade three units are going to get plus 5k. The really cool thing though is it's an uh, end of turn auto ability that lets you retire up to two grade three rear guards and you will draw a card for each and something that is very exclusive to this card in great nature is that you get to retire two units on your opponent's board. One of the very few great nature cards that allows you to have targeted removal inside the clan. So this is really perfect as a very different layer to what great nature tries to achieve to do. And so I think this has a really cool defensive um, capacity inside premium is definitely a very interesting pick to take. I think though that in this current ride down meta where people really want their rear guards on the board, their rear guards kind of in this meta for a lot of decks across the board want this value of to grind out through the game to for their cars to have longer value just so that way they continually fuel an engine. But locks here is perfect to kind of keep your opponents off that. Then for the next grade three here, I have three copies of Rotting Usurp Dragon. This is an overdress card that is really, really cool. So if this card says anytime you have a grade three or greater Vanguard is placed, you uh, may call this card to Rearguard Circle during your um, ride phase, drop phase, whatever. Like this card is absolutely perfect because this is gonna call itself from the drop zone every time you stride. And this makes this perfect stride fodder. This makes this perfect retire hits off of locks because uh, during your uh, stride phase, like you're gonna have like two of these in drive, you're gonna be able to call them. You'll be able to pop them at the end of turn with locks, or draw two cards and retire two cards. And then, oh, I'm gonna stride again and I get them right back. This card is absolutely free value and perfect in this deck. Really glad that uh, Great Nature has a spot for this little Plague Doctor Dragon, but uh, yeah, he's perfect. Uh, just so much value overall and just really great like fodder too even if you like to check the top five with mini bell you can just discard him and he's going to come back later so it's deck thinning deck winning for sure uh next is two copies of the mini belly restander this is the crayon tiger clone and that is searchable by mike and mini belly this card's perfect here just another extender uh since we're not actually playing rhinos in this lineup surprisingly enough i don't think rhinos is particularly too well in locks because you're again going to be focused on retiring your grade three units and you only really have access to use those rhinos then once because well, most of the time your board is going to be wiped as well but this card is perfect i really love the fact that big belly has these options for it and then the final grade three we're actually playing is Culture Gorilla. So Culture Gorilla is definitely a win more card, but this kind of pairs with a card in our G zone that once we get to that, we'll kind of cover, I'll cover over again. But uh, Culture Gorilla is absolutely perfect. This is a, at the end of your Vanguard attacks, you can Soul Blast five and restand all of your units that are 25K or greater. And if you restood two or more, you wipe your opponent's board. So again, this is a little more leaning into the strategy of just retiring your opponent's board, keeping them a little bit controlled while trying to maintain some aggro and advantage. I think that Culture Gorilla does this really well, really strong against like Steam Maidens and other decks right now currently in the format that's really want their rear guards again to grind out. So this is just perfect, just being able to nuke the board and continue to push 
Uh, it was definitely, I thought that this card had a little more impact than like the Singleton Rhino that was played in the, um, in the Rosemont list, which I will have the deck log in the description below for that original list if you would like to see it. Uh, but again, shout out to the player that did it. I wasn't able to learn the name or anything, but you, my friend, are truly inspirational. But I just like Culture Gorilla in this lineup a little more, uh, personally, for my playtesting, even though like our lists actually ended up being very similar. I play for the grade twos now, four copies of Crayon Tiger. I think this card is the absolute staple in the premier card for great nature. This draws you cards, restands units. Um, yeah, just, it, you don't want another better friend, man. Like this, this card is just so good and he's so cute. Um, I definitely always go back and forth between the double R's and the triple R's though, but the triple R's are like just kind of staying now just because I like, I do like the prismatic pattern that they offer, but again, Crayon Tiger, just so good. And then on to kind of our consistency package. I'm going to display these at the same time. I'm playing three copies of Blesser Parquet and three copies of uh, the Compass Lion. This is to kind of pair with Mike for the early game so that way we can guarantee our locks ride or find our heal guardians or any of that stuff. Same purpose here is that you can actually just like ride another grade two, call this uh, CV1 and then call the mic to target this because this pops itself at the end of the turn. So hopefully you hit something off this and then you'll hit something off the mic. So a double search for two cards is absolutely perfect and we love to see it. But yeah, a compass line two just here for that little defensive body in the 13K. This is absolutely a great number to work with. And I really think that you should lean into a lot more when uh, playing these really awkward great nature decks, I think that Lox is a perfect home for Compass Lion. And to round off our grade two lineup, this is Elena. I have really like varying opinions on this card. I think this card is good in this deck uh, just because you're gonna be able to revive Crayon Tigers. You're gonna be able to revive your label pangolins. Uh, just very important things uh, that you just kind of need as like boosters and stuff. Um, because the thing that uh, Label Pangolin says is, is it's placed during the main phase. It doesn't say from hand, it doesn't say from anything like that. So it is able to actually trigger again, which is perfect because Label Pangolin is your true resource engine in this deck and you need to see him. So the fact that Elena just gives you multiple uses of the Pangolins in case like it gets retired or other things because it just really doesn't have any use after that one turn. If you don't have the multiple restanders, you can't fuel the multiple soul for your cards like Culture Grill and everything like that. So Elena enables that, but it's also a 10k body to ride if that matters in certain matchups where they have a very aggressive grade two game if they're an excel and protect deck with those numbers just allows you to live and stabilize a little bit better by having the 10k body if you missed the compass lion going into the grade ones i am playing four copies of mini belly staple searcher you just want to play this guy there's no reason not to play him look at all the cute pandas yeah vibe out uh, this we lean into the v series version this time because you just want the 10k shield and you just want the top five search you have too many good grade threes that you can hit between your heal guardians your restanding big bellies your usurps um and the locks himself I am doing here for the tech splits, I'm doing three Mike and three Pangolin. You could definitely go four Mike, uh, two Pangolin if you wanted to. Uh, I just kind of agree with the philosophy from the uh, topping players list that this 3-3 split is absolutely perfect because you don't want to be searching your deck too much, like especially for like your Hero Guardians and stuff because this deck is a little bit more fragile than most of the Great Nature decks, especially after the Spangled hit. But this is here just very strong. I definitely can, you can definitely play around with the ratios, but I just think that seeing penguins that way you can achieve kind of your higher, more ceiling plays and side culture grill and things like that is very important for you to find. And then of course, one Elementaria. This card should never like leave great nature. This, this card is just so free. So just please play the Elementaria. It's just so good. Just that free PG when you draw into it in this format is crazy. Onto triggers, I am playing four stride crit and four of the into soul crit. Crits win games, we love to put these on any guys that we're restanding or trying to apply pressure with, so go you. This is absolutely perfect. Three copies of the draw PGs, again, most beautiful PG in the game. PGs help you live, these are draw triggers, so these are really good defensive checks, so we love to see that. And then I got four copies here of the Heal Guardian. Again, we just really want to see these. Again, this deck is the really fragile version of Great Nature. So we need to find it either with our Parakeets, our uh, Mini Bellies, our Mikes, whatever. You just don't want to run out of targets and play something else. So this is why we do especially lean into the Heal Guardians for the early game living. And then, of course, you love them, you hate them, the Over Trigger. 
you got to play it. You're at a disadvantage if you don't, but boy, I really want these out of the format, but you know, you got to have it here and we kind of have the modal everything. So it, it helps uh, this clan in what it does, but it does, especially though, when the red over trigger comes out in a few weeks, we will definitely be playing that. On to the G zone. We are playing two copies of our, our Caligarius boy here. So this card has a really good interaction with Culture Gorilla. This lets you uh, kind of hit these weird thresholds all for Culture Gorillas because all of your grade threes now more than likely are gonna be able to restand off the Culture Gorilla effect. Especially if they're on Excel circles, you're just gonna be able to straight up restand them because they're all gonna be like 27, 26, somewhere in there. So that's why Caligarius' top flip works really well. You don't really get as much as you'd like to his guard restrict kind of claws off, but you eventually can. Uh, but this is why, you know, I, we, we just think Caligarius is so good. Uh, just being able to just that free bump, hit into that triple door guard restrict, and then you hit a crit and you have a couple restanders, you win the game. So that's how Caligarius works out to play. Our next stride here is two copies of Mana Garmer. This is your main flip target for Caligarius. This is the, has the attack extension skill inside the G zone. This is its main purpose, although you can stride it just to get a little more advantage if you're kind of like playing in weird matchups where it's like, hey, I kind of maybe need a sack into the drive checks. This card is perfect to do so. And then for my spicy tech and the culture gorilla combo is what I put it with. So I'm playing two copies of Saint Sage Professor Big Belly. Everyone knows that I actually really like this card and try to find really weird ways to implement it into decks. And I think that Locks is a rogue pick. It kind of has its uh, niche fit inside this. So for those that don't know what our favorite professor here does, it's a counter blast one. You choose a card uh, with the same card name and you get uh, 4K. You choose one of your rear guards, it gets 4K for each face up card in your G zone. And then you uh, choose one of your units until the end of the turn, it gets Vanguard rear guard. When this attack hits, you choose up to the number of card rear guards up to the face up number of your cards in your G zone and you restand them. So what you can do is you can actually do like Sypticon plays, kind of turbo up, flip up your G zone a little bit and then call this. And so that way every turn now, you can do this like really wild combo of just being able to restand your board a bunch of times and that's why culture grill ensures like the first time it miss and then you and you miss a couple times with your restanders because you're just trying to restand your board again you can just swing this um after and just force the restand on the whole entire boards and try to repeat your process again because if you have two pangolins you're going to be able to like infinitely do it uh, of course, you're going to run out of deck spot because you're eventually going to soul charge your deck out. But you have a way just to kind of ensure that like you can go like really high attacks. And so they kind of need to over trigger. So that's our like pseudo infinite uh, restand play. But it's a very cool one in that. Uh, one Bilaro, again, the boy. Uh, we like this card. So just we just play it like it's, it's good in certain situations. Like when you need to draw and things like that, you could definitely warrant playing a second one if you would want to cut a mana armor. But I, I think that two mana armor is a little better. One sip to come for the reverse stack. Not as good anymore because we don't have our pride and joy and spangled, but a really solid card indeed. It can help you achieve in another way now your St. Sage combos. So definitely a perfect add-in. We have one copy of A-Funk. This is for anything that is going to attempt to retire our stuff during our turn. You could definitely play the um, the rare Vergera that is success 25,000. You can choose five of your rear guards and then gain resist. Uh, that's a little more applicable, but I kind of like the effect that A-Funk gets a little bit of power um for each unit that's selected uh so that's why he just becomes a stronger vanguard lane uh, same thing here with colligerous will just get buffed for the amount of rear guards you have and then it's just really good against the floodgate matchups like mega colony and link joker just allowing you to gain advantage for drawing and counter charging and soul charging at uh gb3 so this card is perfect and we love it under the g guards two copies of Ardillo. This is our largest G guard for free. We don't really want to be expending too much resources because we're going to try to capitalize on our offensive turns, but this is what's really perfect here. Got uh, one copy of Zankalpa for our large G guard play. Uh, same thing with this. You can uh, sack into the uh, Shabet Avil and get the PG effect if you hit a trigger. If not, 35k shield is nothing to scoff at. One All Mirage to protect our entire board. Uh, being say they can't retire from being on hit and giving them resist is absolutely perfect um, and you're able to call some stuff down maybe you will get a couple searches off of uh, like the part uh, parakeet and other things so that's why we vibe and then of course kundalini to give us any little bit of counter charging we may need because again we don't have our 10k counter charge soul charge heals back yet uh, which i think is absolutely awesome that uh, automism koala is getting the buff in history collection but yeah that is 
going to do it for Locks Premium. Again, shout out to the player. I don't know your name, and I feel terrible that topped in Rosemont with Locks. Uh, please, you know, if you're out there and you're watching this, PM me. I have Twitter. I got Instagram. I got Facebook. Go for, for all of you watching. Please go check me out on those. I'm trying to grow those sides as well. And go uh, join my Discord. It's uh, down in the description below. Love to do some playtesting and theory crafting with you all because I love growing this community and loving it as always. If you guys need any other cards, please go shop with Kingslayer Cards and use the promo code SCHOLAR to save 5% off your order. Again, they're going to treat you right, so please go shop with them. They're absolutely amazing people. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and a wonderful rest of your week. I love you all, and take care.